So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, we're gonna take a deep dive back in the history of Canon as they are today. The origins of Canon start in the 1930s with Goro Yoshida. Inspired by the simplicity of the construction used to create popular Leica cameras at that time, he decided to make his own Japanese spinoff. It is at this point Precision Optical Instruments Laboratory, which eventually evolves into Canon as we know today, is formed. But World War II hits and the devastation that occurred to Tokyo nearly caused them to close entirely. Thankfully, following the war, they were rejuvenated during the Allied Force occupancy as demand for photography increased. Interestingly enough, this was caused primarily from the demand of Allied Force troops which made up the most considerable portion of their initial customer base at this time. Their desire to document their experiences while overseas allowed Canon to restart manufacturing. It's at this point in the 1950s where Takesha Mitari takes over the company. During the following 10 years, Canon experiences several significant milestones. First, Takashi ventures to New York, inspiring the company to consolidate its facilities and headquarters into a single unified location. From there, they have their first real breakthrough in the lens ecosystem with a 50 millimeter f1.8 lens. This lens was one that initially leads a lot of users to adopt their ecosystem. During this time, they also began expanding production to the Western hemisphere and unified their logo, which remains true and identical to the one in use today. Not only that, but they also slowly began de developing SLRs and progressively migrated from the traditional yet popular rangefinder design. In 1959, Canon released their first SLR with the Canon Flex. From there, they continue refining SLRs, and in 1976, they released the AE-1. The AE-1 was designed to be an affordable and easy alternative to make photography more accessible to the everyday shooter or enthusiast. It was an insanely popular camera at the time and a landmark release that went to sell over a million units in the subsequent years. For many, it was the very first camera that truly got everyday users excited about photography and became the go-to staple for the manufacturer. It is at this point Canon experiences a turning point and they begin to transition to compete in not only the consumer market, but also the professional market as well. And in 1979, they released the F1. The F1 was an initial breakthrough release for, in, for them into the professional market. With the inclusion of an auto exposure FD mount and 10 year promise to continue supporting the system. In the following years, they experienced a surge of professionals quickly adopting and supporting their ecosystem. 1987, Canon makes the risk to lead to their EOS system, still in use today, which uses an electronic mount instead. This moved risk alienating professional users who already heavily invested in the previous FD mount. However, the risk ended up being a huge success and a significant milestone in their evolution. It's not until 2008, quite a long time, with the release of the 5D Mark II, did they have their next breakthrough camera. However, the 5D2 is an acclaimed, or actually it is claimed, as the camera that started and initiated the DSLR video revolution. It was the first SLR to shoot 1080p video at 30 frames per second, a feature unheard of until this point in commercial cameras. And it is from this point onwards that we know Canon as the camera manufacturer they are today. So that kind of wraps up the, uh, the Canon, kind of their bio, their quick synopsis, they have a very rich and deep story as well. Um, but it's interesting to see how Canon and Nikon, they have very similar origins um, in, in the you know fallen World War II and uh, their milestones are a little bit differently and uh, the small little stepping stones that ultimately transformed the, the camera manufacturer into the company that we know today. So uh, a quick little video there, just kind of give you guys a history lesson on this awesome manufacturer. Um, you know, if you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, we love to kind of have a discussion about this in the description below. Hit us up in the description. We'll, we'll be checking those comments, responding back as always. And my name is Devon Lennox, your host at Photography PX. We'll catch you in the next video, my friends. Peace out.